So lying, coming lying down in any way that feels most comfortable for you. And as much as you can right now, just starting to bring all of your attention onto the way that you're breathing. So without changing anything at all, just noticing how you showed up today. So how is the rhythm and the depth of your breath? And when you breathe, where does the breath go in your body? So does it tend to stay all up around the chest or the collarbones, or does that breath flow down towards the stomach and around the base of the rib cage? So again, without changing anything at all, just beginning by noticing how it is. Just maybe noticing how your body feels this morning, so whether there's any parts that feel really nice and relaxed and like the energy flowing through, whether it feels as though there are some parts that need to create a little bit of space. And it will be able to link the two together. So now using the breath to relax the body, as you breathe in through the nose, just take a deeper, slower breath in. So you're really breathing down towards the base of the rib cage, just expanding it and expanding to the stomach as well. And as you breathe out, just allow the whole front of your body to relax. So again, as you breathe in, just creating that real sense of space in the rib cage, around the stomach. And as you breathe out, again, start to let go of anything that does not need to be held. So just finding this kind of breathing a few times yourself. Good. Just noticing, could you relax the muscles of the face, the jaw and the shoulders a little bit more? And as we move this morning, just keep a little eye on the breath. So if you want to pause and reset at any point, then just go for it. Okay, and just keeping the breath and movement linked uh, whenever you can. So we're gonna, if you're not already, lying on your back and start the movement by taking a nice deep breath in to stretch the arms and legs all the way out as big as you can. Nice, good. And then we're gonna exhale there to bend the knees and hug them into the chest and we'll squeeze the nose up to the knees. Good. So again, breathe in to stretch everything out as big as you can. Nice, good. And again, we'll exhale to bend the knees and give them a squeeze in. It's lovely, nice. One more time together. So we're going to breathe in to stretch everything out. So when you're here, just start to circle around through the wrists and the ankles. We'll wake up the joints. And if this is the first kind of movement like this you've done today, really move into those circles. So how big can you make these joint circles this morning? Okay, it's nice. Maybe spreading and scrunching the fingers and toes to so warm everything up. And then we're going to draw the knees in towards the chest again. So one hand is on each knee and start to circle the knees around. So they come out, around, and then back together. Lovely, nice, good. So let your hips relax as you're doing this, really creating some space. Nice. And then we'll bring the feet to the floor about hip distance apart, arms alongside your body. So we're going to start with a more subtle movement here. So some pelvic tilts. So if you roll your pelvis away from you, create a tiny gap under your lower back and then roll the pelvis in towards you so your back presses to the floor. So again, just gently rolling the pelvis away and then rolling it in. So just finding this kind of movement a few times yourself. And you could think of this as maybe unsticking the lower back or bringing some awareness to the pelvis. It's a little bit like a rolling pin sort of movement back and forward on your mat. Good, nice. All right, then the next time the hips roll in towards you, we're going to lift them all the way up towards the ceiling. So peel the spine off the floor. When you get to the top, really press the shoulders to the ground. Then we're going to exhale, roll down through the spine bit by bit so the tailbone lands last. Nice, good. And again, breathe in to roll the hips up, peel the spine off the floor. And then exhale to roll the spine down, let the hips land last. Fantastic, good. So one more time together. We're going to breathe in to roll the hips up. So when you're at the top, just shuffle the shoulders under even more if you haven't already. Just clasp the hands together. And then give the glutes a nice squeeze here. Not with your hands, but with your, with your muscles. So lift the hips nice and high. Good, nice. And then we'll part the hands. Come and roll down slowly through the spine. Good. When you get the hands, hold the back of the thighs. And we'll have a little roll back and forward along the spine. So if it feels all right for your back, kind of using the floor, give yourself a little massage. Good, nice. And then we come all the way up. Then keep the knees bent, feet on the floor, hands on the shins. So as you breathe in, pull the chest forward, shoulders draw back. And we're going to round the spine and really tuck the chin so you can exaggerate the movement. So again, breathe in, open forwards and up. And then breathe out, round the back. Lovely, good. So just finding this movement a few times yourself. 
And again, you can make this as big or as small as you like. You're almost finding like a watery quality in the spine. Good, all right, so the next time you open the chest, hands are gonna come behind your body. I'm gonna breathe in here to lift the hips forwards and up. So really press into the finger pads here. Nice, so the exhale, hips draw down and back and just hold the body weight between the arms. So again, inhale, hips forwards and up. Press into your fingers. Good, exhale, hips down and back. Nice, one more time together, pull those hips up. So again, at the top, squeeze the glutes, push your fingers into the floor. Good, lovely, and then slowly down and over onto hands and knees when you feel ready. Okay, so when we're here, we're gonna spread out the fingers and thumbs. As you breathe in, draw the chest forward, lift the tailbone, then we'll get exhale to press the floor and round through the spine. Good, so again, as you breathe in, just create some space in the front of the body, and to breathe out, we're gonna press and round the back. Lovely. So finding this move a few times yourself, and again, you might want to really exaggerate it, or you might want to keep it really nice and relaxed today. And then eventually we're going to bring this a bit bigger. So hands come forward to the top of the mat. So one hand at each corner. Like a waving movement, we're going to breathe in, roll forward, shoulders over wrists, pull the chest forward, open everything out. Then exhale, hips back towards the heels, almost like child's pose, but a little bit higher with the hips. Good. And again, breathe in, coming forward, open up the chest. And then exhale again, hips draw back, press the chest towards the ground. Nice, one more time together. Like the wave, we're gonna breathe in, roll forward. So from here, come down to the front of your body and bring your forearms forward so we've got the elbows just under the shoulders. So we're gonna wake up the core before we go any further. So as we're here again, elbows under shoulders, spread out the fingers and press the fingers into the ground. We're gonna breathe in, draw the chest forward again. As you exhale, if you can, lift the hips and maybe the knees from our forearm plank. Nice, good. Push up between the shoulder blades. Okay, good. And again, breathing, coming down. Open the chest, shoulders back. Nice. And again, lift the hips, maybe the knees, push those heels back. Brilliant. One more time together. We're going to breathe and come down. Open the chest. Nice. One more time together. So lift the hips, lift the knees, press the heels back. Good. That's it. One more moment here if you can. Nice, and then slowly coming down, hands come under shoulders, press all the way back to child's pose, hips on the heels. And so it's a loud moment here to maybe give the hips a kind of sway from side to side, or a little wiggle just to create space around the very lowest part of the back. Good, nice. All right, so off onto hands and knees, and then to down facing dog when you feel ready. Good, okay, so when we're here, give the legs a little walk out, so one heel then the other presses towards the floor. And remember, if the legs are feeling really tight today, you can always bring them wider apart and we'll gradually ease into them as we go. Okay, so keeping both the feet grounded here, we're going to start by bending both the knees, squat back towards your heels. That's it, good. And then push down through the heels to lengthen the legs. Good. And again, bend the knees, hips squat back towards the heels. Push through the heels, lengthen the legs. And one more time, bend the knees, nice deep squats. Good, push through the heels, lengthen the legs, and then we'll come walk forward to the front of the mat, draw our forward fold together. Good, so when we get here, feet can come nice and wide apart, and just find like a natural sway from side to side. So shifting the weight between the feet, let the back of the neck relax. Good, and then we'll start to wake up the back. So hands come to the lower back, begin to tap it, so really get the blood moving there, and then tap all the way down the back of the legs, get nice and warm. Good. All the way back of the legs. We're going to do it one more time down the legs. Then hands come on the front of the legs. Slowly slide them up as you roll up to stands. Nice. Hands lift all the way to the ceiling. Then we're going to exhale, bring the hands out wide. Bend the knees and come about halfway down if you can. Good. And again, breathe into lift up nice and high. Nice. And again, bend the knees coming halfway. So when we come down, try and put the weight in the heels if you can. Good, one more time, we're gonna breathe and come up. And then from there, bring the hands out wide, take a wide step apart with the feet, let the legs, well the arms, everything relax, have a little twizzle from side to side, get set. So if you can, let this be the moment that you can really let go, all right? So let your arms go. We're gonna take a couple of lines breaths as well, so have a big breath in through the nose, and then stick your tongue out, big breath. And with that, one more time together. Oh. Don't fall over. So big breath in. And then stick the tongue out. 
Lovely, good. All right, so eventually coming up to the front of the mat, let everything slow down. I'm gonna breathe in here, gently lift the hands all the way up. Nice, good, and then forward fold all the way down. Good, all right. So we'll take a big step back for the right foot here, bring the knee to the floor, so a low lunge. We're gonna inhale, lift the hands forward and up, and you exhale, big circle back. Lovely, good, and again, the breath into lift. And exhale, circle the arms back. Good, so again, exaggerate the movement. We're gonna bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then we're gonna exhale, round the spine, and really push the hands forward. Good, and again, breathe and open up, open the chest. Nice, good, and then exhale, round the spine, push forward. So now hands come all the way behind the back, squeeze them together, step the front foot a little bit further forward, and push the hips forward if you can, good. So as your hips push forward, lean back away from that thigh, and if you're feeling strong, you might even lift the arms up as well. So more weight will go down to that hip. Good. Nice big breath in. Lift the hands up. Now we're going to exhale. Hands come down towards the floor. Nice. Good. So as you breathe in here, draw the chest forward. Right hip gets a stretch. And you exhale. Take the hips back and lift these front toes if you can. Good. And again, inhale, open up and forward. And you exhale, drawing back the length from the front leg. Good. So as you come forward here, the left hand's going to reach forward. Then circle this left hand forwards, up, round, reach towards the back foot, good. And again, scoop it forwards and up, and then reach into the back foot, nice, good. So from here, the hand's gonna come to the floor, staying on the knees, just bring your front foot straight back behind you, and the arms wider apart, good. So really gonna wake up the glutes here. So left leg's gonna tap out to the side of your body, let's move a bit forward, and then draw a big arch with it, up and over, and tap the other side, good, nice. And then again, up and over, tap the floor to the left. Good, 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 straight elbows, up and over, tap the floor to the right. Nice, good, so from here, step the foot all the way forward, back to where it was. Nice, we're gonna tuck the back toes, lift the knee, and now come and walk around to the long side of your mat, so the feet are parallel. Good, so when you're here, just find a little bend and lengthen in one knee than the other, so ease side to side. Good, have a moment to reset here, relax the neck. Good, and the hands walk all the way to the front of the mat, we'll turn the feet forward and step back into down facing dog when you're ready. Nice, good. So we'll wake up the core more here. So if you can, step the feet wider apart so they're at the edges of your mat and then really squeeze the feet towards each other so you're trying to engage the inner legs. To keep that feeling, we're gonna breathe in, come forward into a plank, really squeeze the feet inward and then exhale, pull back down the facing dog. That's it, so inner thigh is really engaged. And again, breathe in forward into a plank, squeeze the feet together. Good, exhale, down the facing dog. One more time. I'm gonna breathe in forwards into a plank, and then lower to the floor. So maybe knees down first, then bend the elbows. Coming to cobra, so we're gonna breathe in to lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, and then again, pressing back towards child's pose, hips to heels. Nice, and then down facing dog when you're ready. Good, okay, so again, from here, come and bend the knees, step or jump to the top. When we're there, feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna breathe and lift the hands all the way up. Nice, good, and again, bending the knees, coming halfway down, good. So add another movement for the spine here. The next time you exhale, we're gonna round the back, really curl everything in, and breathe in, open it out, so pull the tailbone back and the chest forward. Good, and again, exhale, round the spine, and then breathe and open up. Lovely, good. So hands come down to the floor. Big step back for the left foot, bring that knee down. So in our low lunge, we're gonna breathe and lift the hands up, and you exhale, big circle back. Nice, good, and again, the inhale to lift. Big circle with the hands. So from here again, we're gonna bend the elbows, really squeeze the shoulder blades, open up. Good, and then round the back and push those hands forward. Good, so really think about opening through the chest and then pressing hands forward there. Good, so hands come together behind the back again. Step the front foot one little bit further forward and then push the pelvis forward there. Good, and then if you can, lean back. Nice, good, so put a lot of weight in that front foot and then if you like, you might lift the hands there as well. Good, so next we breathe in, really reach the hands up as the hips sink down. And then hands come to the inside edge of the front foot. We're gonna reach the chest forward and then draw the hips back to length from the front leg. Nice, good. And again, breathe in to come forward. And then breathe out to draw back. Lovely, so now getting the right arm involved, we're gonna reach the hand forward, 
circle it up, round reach towards the back foot. Good, and again, scoop forwards and up, and then towards the back foot. Good, so again, staying on the knees, bring the hand to the floor. Front foot just comes straight back behind you, and the hand's a bit wider. Good, so if you can, tap this right leg out to the side of your body, and then draw a big arch with it up and over, and tap the other side. Good, so try and uh, bring it up and over again. Try and keep the elbows and the knees straight if you can. Up and over in that big arch. Good, and then we step that right foot all the way back to where it was. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee, and come and walk to the long side of the mat again. Good, so again, allow a moment here just to reset, bending and lengthening one knee than the other. And just maybe checking in with how you feel today. So if you feel really strong, you might see if you can hover your hands out to the side and assume to the strength of the legs. Okay, if you're feeling nice and um, tired today, maybe hands can stay on the floor. It's all right, so hands can walk all the way forward towards the front of the mat. We'll turn the feet forward and then stepping into downward facing dog. Good. So from here, we're going to breathe in, coming forward into our plank again. As we exhale, lowering down towards the floor. Coming into cobra, so we'll open through the chest and then again, slowly bring the chest down. Nice, good. All right, so one more little check in with the core here before we can carry on. So forearms forward, elbows under the shoulders. So really try and almost grab the floor with your fingertips if you can. We're going to tuck the toes and again, inhale, chest forward. And as you exhale, lift the hips and maybe the knees so you can really push your heel back. Good, nice. And again, breathe in to come down, open the chest. As you exhale, lift the hips. Maybe lift the knees, heels pressing back. Yes, nice, good. One more time, inhale, come down. And then again, just check those elbows still under the shoulders. Lift the hips, maybe the knees. If you want to make it more challenging now, maybe have a go at lifting one leg up off the floor and then swap over, lifting the other leg. Good, all right, then all the way down. So just resting the forehead on the hands for a moment. We'll bend the knees, give the feet a little sway from side to side to release the lower back. And you use the floor for some feedback here. So as you breathe in, press the stomach into the floor if you can. As you breathe out, relax your stomach into the floor. Okay, nice. All right, so up onto hands and knees when you're ready. Good, and we'll come towards downward facing dog. So from downward facing dog, we'll take a step or a jump to the front of the mat. When we get there, breathe in to lift the hands up. As you exhale, palms come right down through the center. Good, so there's a long moment here to relax the hands to the sides, palms forward and maybe slightly out. Good, so just reconnecting to your breathing. So when we move through this part, maybe see if you can connect the breath and the movement together. And if you feel really confident today, you might have a little go at doing this all with the eyes closed so you're more connected to the movement and the breathing. All right, so we're gonna breathe in here to lift the hands forward and up. And you exhale, forward fold all the way down. Come back into a plank when you feel ready. So we'll take the breath in at the top of the plank and then exhale, lowering down. As you breathe in, come into cobra or upward facing dog, point the toes, then exhale, tuck the toes down, facing dog. Lovely, good. So we're gonna breathe in here to bend the knees, breathing out, step or jump to the top. Inhale, lift the hands all the way up. Nice, good, then exhale, forward fold all the way down. So back into that plank again, we'll take a breath in at the top, and as you exhale, lower down, elbows really close to your body. Breathe and lift the chest, shoulders back, and then exhale, tuck the toes down, facing dog. Good, as you get there, inhale, bend the knees, exhale, step or jump forward, breathe in, hands all the way up, and then exhale, forward fold all the way down. Lovely, good, keep it going, into a plank again, slow breath in, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra or upward facing dog, and then exhale, tuck the toes down, facing dog. Good, again, breathe and bend the knees. Exhale, step or jump to the top. Breathe and lift the hands up. Give you a tiny back bend, and then exhale, forward fold. One more time together. So into that plank again. I'll take a breath in at the top. Exhale to lower down. Again, breathe in, lifting the chest. Nice, good. So this time, chest comes all the way to the floor. We're gonna open the front of the shoulders and the thighs a little bit more here. So lying on the front of your body, if you bring your arms up to the side, like in a T shape, 
I hope this makes sense. We're going to bend the right knee, so your foot's in the air, okay, and then roll to your left, so the foot lands on the floor. So the idea here is to stretch the front of the chest or the left shoulder, so you can go as far as you like. So again, one or two moments. If you want to stretch into your palm and into your wrist a bit more, see if you can just lift your palm off of the floor, so the arm stays down but the palm lifts. Good, nice. Rolling to the centre. So keep that right knee bent. We're going to reach back to hold the foot with the right hand and then pull that heel in to get a little stretch. Good. So if you're um, unconsciously clenching your glutes here, so let them relax. Good, nice. Releasing that foot. Hands up to the side. So we'll bend the left knee and then roll to your right to foot on the floor. Good, nice. So again, just going as far as you like with this. If you want to stretch into the palm, into the wrist again, keep the arm on the floor, but just lift the wrist. Your fingers try and point to the ceiling almost. Good. So into the centre. We'll keep the left knee bent. Hold the foot or the shin and then draw that heel in. Again, relax the glutes as we're doing this if you can. Good, lovely. All right, so releasing that foot, we'll come up onto hands and knees. Good, and then as we did at the beginning, one hand at one corner of the mat, one hand at the other. We're going to breathe and roll forward, shoulder over the wrist, open up the chest, and exhale, hips go back and chest presses towards the floor. One more time, inhale, rolling forward, like a wavy movement, and exhale again, draw the hips back. Lovely, good. All right, so we're going to tuck the toes, come into down facing dog if you're ready. And we'll step or jump to the front of the mat. Good. So on the here again, feet about hip distance apart. We're going to breathe in to lift the hands up. Nice. Good. And then bending the knees, coming about halfway down. Good. So when we're at this point, just come down to the point where it's maybe a little bit challenging to be here. We're going to pulse in and out of this, okay? So sit low and up, like a little bouncing movement. So really, really, really warming up the legs. Try and keep most of the weight in your heels. Good, and then forward fold. Ooh. All right, so stepping back into down facing dog. Good, so from here we're going to breathe in to lift the right leg all the way up behind you. And as you exhale, bring the knee towards the nose and shoulders over the wrist. Good, again, inhale to lift the leg. This time right knee taps the right elbow if you can. Good, lifting the leg up and then we'll step the foot forward there between the hands. So we're gonna come up into a high lunge here, so staying on the ball of the back foot if you can, we'll lift the hands. Good, all right, so we're gonna breathe in here, just straighten the legs, and as you exhale, bend both the knees and take a big circle around. Good, again, push through the feet, inhale, coming up, and then exhaling round. Lovely, good. So when we get up to the top, we'll bring the back heel down, it's more like warrior one, Hands come together behind the back. We're going to inhale, straighten the front leg. Try and lift all the toes. And exhale, toes down and forward fold, chest towards thigh. So we're going to breathe in here, slowly rolling up. Let the head come last. Lift all the toes. And then again, toes come down and forward fold. Good. So one more time here. We're going to roll all the way up. So when we are here, if you can, bend the elbows so you're holding each elbow of your hands. Or if you can, you might be able to bring your palms together behind your back, okay? So whichever feels right for you, draw the elbows back and then come forward halfway. Good, that's it. So coming halfway, really pull those elbows back. Nice, good, good, good. And then if you can, find a little balance here. So just step the back foot in slightly and come into warrior three. So you might just be here for a second or two, but really press back through the ball of the foot. Nice, good. And then a big step back. Hands come to the floor, and we walk to the long side of the mat from our forward fold. Good. All right, so let the head completely relax. Again, just find a little bit of an ease from side to side, bending and lengthening one leg, then the other. Good. All right, and here we're going to bend the knees slightly. Hands come onto the hips and come about halfway up if you can. Good. So bend the knees a little bit more to take the pressure out of the back. Then if you can, maybe the arms come to the sides of your body a bit stronger. Good, that's it. So over here, press the hips forward as you come up to stand. When we're here, we're going to turn the feet outwards. Nice deep bend in the knees and palms face the ceiling. 
So as you breathe in, straighten the legs, hands lift, lift the heels as well. Good, nice, and exhale, hands through the middle, deep bend in the knees and push the hands away. Good, slow breath in, slow breath out and press away. Good, lovely, one more time together. So we lift the hands, we're gonna stay up at the top now, lift the heels up if you can. See if you can add on here by looking up and maybe closing your eyes to make it more of a balance. Okay, wobbling's fine. Good, all right, so turn the feet parallel. Then we'll turn that right foot forward, coming into triangle. So her hand's gonna slide down, other arm up. Nice, good. Just take one big circle round through this top arm. Good, and eventually both hands come down either side of the front foot. We're gonna tuck the back toes and step into downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, lift that right leg all the way up again. Good, and then bring the right knee to the right elbow again. Good, slide that knee all the way down to tap the floor, and then slide it back up to tap your elbow. Good, slide it down to the floor, and then slide it back up to the elbow. Good, so come into pigeon, bring the knee all the way to the floor, slide that back leg back, and we'll just stay up high for a second. So come onto your fingertips if you can, just pull the chest forward. Nice, good. And then we'll sit all the weight on the right side of your body and swing that other leg all the way around in front. Good. So come into a seated twist here. So bring that right knee up a little bit. Good. All right, so left arm is gonna hug around that knee, other hands behind you. So as you breathe in, find the length in the spine. And you exhale to gentle twist here. So just checking, can you relax your jaw a little bit more? Can you relax the breathing? Good, nice. And we're going to let go of the knee. Just let the knee drop out to the side. Another little back bend thing here. So roll towards your right knee. Then if you can, lift the hips, lift the top arm and find a big side stretch. Yes, nice, good. Just slowly hips come to the floor. From here, we're going to bend both the knees. The feet are planted on the ground. Back hand's still there. We're going to inhale, lift the front arm up, lift the hips. And this is enough, or you might come into a full opening here. So really open the chest and reach the top arm back. Good, lovely, well done. So slowly hips come down. Just bring the hands back behind you. We'll find a little kind of sway with the knees side to side to release out. Good, well done. All right, so coming over onto hands and knees when you go ready. So we're here again, just really spreading out the fingers and the thumbs. We're going to tuck the toes down facing dog. And then come towards our next side. So as you breathe in here, lift the left leg all the way up. As you exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over the wrists. Good, and again, inhaling to lift the leg. This time, left knee taps the left elbow if you can. Good, well done, lifting that leg up. And then we'll step the foot forward there between the hands. So coming up into a high lunge here, palms lifting. Good, all right, so we're gonna breathe in to straighten the legs. And as you exhale, bend the knees, big circle with the hands. So you might even tap the back knee on the floor. Inhale, lifting up. And then exhaling round. Nice, good. So the next time that we lengthen the legs, bring the back heel to the floor, warrior one. Hands come behind the back, we'll squeeze them together. So lift the front toes, just come onto the heel. They'll bend the front knee, forward fold, chest towards the thigh. Lovely, good. And again, come to breathe and roll all the way up, come onto the heel. And then again, exhale, toes down, forward fold. Brilliant, good. So one more time here, we're gonna roll all the way up. So when you get to the top, see if you can hold your elbows, or if you can, you might be able to bring your palms together and draw the elbows back. Good, so wherever you are, if you can, come halfway, so the knee can bend as much as you like. Good, and then add on our balance. So the back foot comes in slightly, and we lift the back leg. Good, nice. So sit from task six and really press away through the ball of the foot. Yes, nice. So big step back, hands come to the floor, just swap sides, and then come into our forward fold, feet nice and wide apart. Good. So just allow a moment here, maybe to let the head relax down, let everything go. Good. And then bend the knees slightly, hands come onto the hips, come halfway up. Good. If you can, bring the hands up to the sides. Good, that's it. Push the hips forward as you come all the way up. Yes, nice, good. Then when we get there again, we'll turn the feet outward. Nice deep bend in the knees. So we're going to inhale, lift the hands, lengthen the legs. 
And as you exhale, palms through the center, push the knees out and then push the hands out. Good. And again, inhale, coming up. Exhaling down and push away. Nice, good. So as you come up, turn the feet parallel. Left foot's going to turn forward, come into triangle. So slide the hand down, other arm up. Good. If you can, take a big circle around with this top arm. Nice, good. So eventually both hands come down either side of the front foot. Come into downward facing dog with your left leg in the air straight away. Nice, good. So left knee taps the left elbow. Good. And then lifting that leg up again. Well, we had a little extra one. So bring the left knee to slide down, tap the floor. Slide it back up, tap the elbow. Good. Slide it down, tap the floor. Slide it back up, tap the elbow. And now bring the knee all the way to the floor and we come into pigeon. So slide the back leg back. Stay up high for this one if you can. So on the fingertips, draw the chest forward. Good. And then we'll sit the weight on the left side of your body. Swing the other leg round. Come into our seated twist. So bringing the knee into the centre. Right arm is going to hug around the leg. And we twist to the side. Good. So again, allow the breath to really slow down here, relaxing all the face muscles. Good. So try and keep this back hand where it is the whole time. We're just going to drop the knee out to the side, roll towards it, so the inside arch of that other foot comes down. Lift the hips, lift the arm. Yes, nice. And slowly hips down. Now just bend both the knees, feet on the ground. Lift this front hand. Lift the hips halfway or all the way. Push down through the fingertips again. Yes, nice, good. Slow in hips down. Again, hands come behind. We just find a little ease from side to side. Lovely, nice, good. Okay, so over here, we're going to just roll onto the back of the body for a second when you feel ready. Good, all right. And just release into the hips here. So we've got a nice little bit of freedom in the lower back. So with the knees bent, we're going to lift the left leg up into the air, just press up through the heel. And then for a second, can you cross that ankle over the other knee? And this might feel like it's enough, or you might hold that right thigh and draw the legs in towards you. Good. So maybe have a little kind of roll from side to side across your back, and massaging it. And so if you want to, you might even straighten your right leg here, so we're still releasing down the back of the leg. Good, just relax those neck muscles. Nice, good. All right, then release down through the legs. Come to the other side, so lifting the right leg up, press up through the heel, crossing that ankle over the other knee. And if you can, hold the left thigh, draw the legs in. And so you might find a rolling from side to side, across the back is nice, or stretching through the leg. Try to let the shoulders relax. Good, it's brilliant. Okay, so releasing down for the legs. So can I have a little roll up and down through the spine again? So rocking up and down through the back. Good, nice. And eventually when you get up there, we're gonna come up and over onto hands and knees and then down facing dog when you feel ready. Good, from down facing dog, come and step or jump forward to the front of the mat. So feet about hip distance apart again. We're gonna inhale to roll up. Good, lifting the palms. And then again, bending the knees, coming to sit about halfway, good. So put all the weight in the heels here. Find that little pulsy movement up and down. So really starting to bring some warmth into the legs. Good, nice, and then forward fold. Stepping back into down facing the other again. So I'm gonna breathe in here, lifting that right leg all the way up. As you exhale, stepping the foot forward between the hands. Coming into warrior one, so back heel comes down and arms scoop forwards and up. Yes, good. So hands come behind the back again. Again, choose to either hold the elbows or palms together, whatever feels all right for you. We'll step the back foot in slightly and again come into warrior three. So back leg lifts. I'm just going to hold this so I can talk. Good. So when you're here, if you can, find a little kind of bending and lengthening movement in the legs. So again, we're pulsing up and down. Spread out the toes as wide as you can. Nice. And then a big step back, hands come to the floor, and walk into the long side of the mat again when you're ready. Good. So we're here again, allow the back of the neck to completely release, completely relax. Good. 
Okay, so we're going to bend the knees again, hands on the hips, coming about halfway up. Again, if you like, hands out to the side, nice and strong. Fantastic, good. Then again, lifting up through the chest, good. Turn that right foot forward again, this time coming into warrior two, good. So over here, we'll turn the front palm up, we're going to inhale, lift the hands, and you exhale, forearm to thigh, big circle round with the back arm. Yes, good. One more time, we're going to inhale, lift the hands. Lovely, good. So forearm to thigh, other arm circles round. So over here, if you can, take this top arm now to tuck behind your back, and maybe the bottom arm tucks behind as well, so you can clasp your hands together. Good. So really open through your chest. And if you want, you can make this into a sort of triangle shape by straightening your front leg now. Yes, nice, good. So very gently bring the hands down to the floor, either side of the front foot. We'll bring the back knee down to our low lunge. We're going to inhale, lengthen through the arms, lift them up, sorry. Good, then exhale, big circle around. Nice, so like we did at the beginning, bend the elbow, squeeze the shoulder blades, open your chest. And we're going to exhale, round the spine, push the hands forward. Good. So again, hands come together behind the back. We're going to step the front foot forward a little bit, push the pelvis forward, and again, lean back. Good, nice. So again, it's totally up to you. If you want to, you can make it a bit deeper by reaching the hands. Good, nice. And hands come down to the inside edge of the front foot. We're going to take the front foot straight back behind you. and sit, And then opposite arm straight forward here. So if you can, bring the arm out to the side of your body and the leg out to the other side. Good, guys. Nice. So I'm going to bring the leg to the floor, still facing you. Hands are going to lift all the way up. Nice, good. And the hands come down to the centre. So we're going to bring the right hand here to slide down the leg. Other arm over into our side stretch. Good, nice. And if you can, take this top arm round in a really big circle. Good, the next time it comes past your body, we're going to bring those left fingertips to the floor, other arm lifts, and if you can, lift the leg into the air as well. Brilliant, good. All right, so here you could add on by bending the top knee, holding the foot or the shin, that's it. So if you're familiar with um, Danny Rossner with bow, that sort of shape, pull the heel in towards you, and then open up your chest. Good, that's it. Push the foot into your hand, really open chest, lovely. And sit, open the chest one more time. You might look up. Nice, brilliant. All right, so slowly bring everything down. So we're going to step that right foot forward back to where it was and get deeper into the hips now. So shuffle your back knee back if you can. And then you might stay on your hands or you might come down to your forearms, whatever feels all right for you today. Good, so if your knee's getting a bit achy, just grab a pillow or you can fold the mat in two to soften the knee. Good, so at this point, really, really think about relaxing the jaw, relaxing the breath. It's one or two more moments. Good. So I'll add one more little option for you if you want to, if you are able to today. So if you can, just lift the right arm up so it's twisting there. And if you're able to, you might be able to bend the back knee and lift the foot so your hamstring's nice and strong. Stay there and squeeze into the hamstring or reach back and hold the foot and draw the heel in towards you. So a big thigh stretch. Good, wherever you are, stick with it. Whether you're holding the foot or not, stay for a second. Good, nice. And then we're going to let go of the foot, hands to the floor, and into down facing dog. Good. So from here, we can breathe in, coming forwards into our plank. As you exhale, lowering to the floor, coming to cobra or upper facing dog, lifting the chest. Nice, good, and slowly bringing the chest down. Good. Okay, so from here, hands come alongside your body. Let's get another little bit of strength into the back. So you have the palms facing the floor. And then from here, begin to squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the arms up off the floor. So just the arms lifting for now. Yes. As you lift the arms, try to turn the palms outwards. You're trying to turn the thumbs to the ceiling to open the chest more. Good, yeah, nice. So stick with that, or if you can, now lift everything up. Yes, fantastic. Good. So try and turn the palms, the palms to the ceiling here as much as you can. And sit. Really lifting up through the legs, keep nice and straight. Nice, good, and slowly coming down. So we'll rest the forehead on the hands, bend the knees, have a little sway from side to side with the legs. Good, well done, all right. So slowly coming up onto hands and knees. And then again, we'll tuck the toes into down facing dog when you feel ready. Good, 
So I'm here, we'll come bend the knees, stepping or jumping forward. Feet about hip distance apart. We're going to breathe and lift the hands up. Right, just go last time for this. Bend the knees, sit halfway, and then pulse up and down to really press your heels into the ground. Good, nice. And then forward fold, down facing dog. When we're here, we're going to breathe in to lift the left leg all the way up. As you exhale, stepping the foot forward between the hands and coming up into your high lunge there, so palms lifting. Good, nice. All right, so as soon as you get there, pop the back heel down to remember where I want. Sorry, that's what I meant to say in the first place. So hands behind the back, either hold the elbows or palms together. Come forward halfway and then find your balance, all right? So if you can, lift that back leg straight back behind you. Good, that's it. And find a pulse here. So bending and lengthening that standing leg. Wobbling's 100% fine. Good, well done. So big step back. Hands come to the floor, come to the long side of the mat one more time, feet parallel. And when we're here, maybe walk the hands underneath just a little bit more, so we're deeper into our forward fold. Good, relaxing the back of the neck. Good, and then bending those knees, hands on the hips, come halfway up, maybe arms to the side. Good, nice, push the hips forward as we come up. Lovely, good. We're gonna turn that front foot forward, and this time into warrior two, good. Front palm turns to the ceiling. With the inhale, lift the hand up. And you exhale, forearm to thigh, big circle round with the back arm. Good. So again, connect to the breathing. Inhale, lift the hand. Good. Exhale, forearm to thigh, big circle rounds. Lovely. So if you can tuck the top arm behind your back, maybe bring the bottom arms tuck behind as well. You could open the chest. And if you like, maybe straighten that front leg. It's a variation of triangle, but just be really mindful of your back if you do that. Good, lovely. His hands come down to the floor. Pop the back knee down from here. You're going to breathe in to lift the hands forwards and up. And as you exhale, big circle back. Lovely, good. So again, we're going to bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades, exaggerate the movement. Then round the back, push the hands forward. Good. Inhale to open up, spread the fingers. And then exhale, pushing forward there. Lovely, good. Hands come all the way behind you. So press the pelvis forward and then lean back away. That's it, good. So as your hips sink down, maybe lift the hands up as well. Lovely, well done. So hands come down to the floor. So staying on the knees, front leg comes straight back behind you. Opposite arm comes straight forward. Good. So if you can here, taking the arm out to the side and the leg out to the side. Good, bring the leg to the floor, I just face you. And then, I hope this is the right way, hands lifting all the way up. Good, nice. All right, so hands come right down to the center. So from here, the hand's going to slide down the straight leg. Other arm over into our side stretch. Nice, good. And find a big, big circle around with this top arm. Fantastic, good. Right, so we're going to bring the fingertips down to the floor. Other arm lifts. And you can lift that straight leg into the air. Good. So this is more than enough. We might be able to bend the top knee, hold the foot or the shin. Pull the heel in and then open the chest. So as you pull the heel in, now kick the foot back into your hand and extend the knee back. Yes, good. One or two more moments. Lovely, nice, good. All right, so everything comes down. We're going to step that left foot forward back to where it was and then come deeper into the hips. So bring the pelvis lower to the ground if you can. I say you might bring the forearms down if that's really easy for you today. Good. So relaxing the breathing, relaxing the jaw. Well done, good. All right. So we'll add one more little thing on here. If you can, lifting the left arm up, okay, and then just bend the back knee. So using your hamstring to pull the heel in. It's nice and strong. So that's enough. Or if you can, reach back and hold the foot and draw it in. Good. So no need to have a massively horrible fire stretch here. Just go to the point that feels right for you. One side be different from the other. Good. One more moment wherever you are. Lovely. Well done. Release the hands. Tuck the toes down facing dog. So from down facing dog, we're going to walk the hands back towards the feet. So at the back of the right in a forward fold. And then roll up to stand. Lovely. Good. Let the hands lift all the way up. And then just give the wrist a little shake out on the way down. Good, nice. All right, so going to our last little balance, we come to the ground. 
So find a stable place to stand. It might be on the floor or your mat might feel really, really stable. And then we're going to bend the right knee, squeeze the heel in towards you and reach back to hold the foot with your hands. Good. Left thumb comes onto your chest if you can. All right. So stick with this or can you push the foot back into your hands, extend your knee back. Good. Your body will tip forward a little bit and then extend your left arm forward. Come into Nasser Adjustment here. Good. Nice. So if you can, bring your gaze to look at that front thumb. If you feel really, really strong and balanced there, you might see if you can close your eyes, or you might have a gut holding the foot with two hands. Good, that's it. So slow the breathing. Nice, well done, just slowly release the foot. Yes, good, go for a little shake out. And we'll do the other side. So we're gonna bend the left knee, hold the foot or the shin. Okay, so other thumb is in the chest. And if you can, kick the foot back into the hands. So use your thigh here to create the strength. Push back, chest forward, other arm forward. And so if you can, you might focus on the thumb. You might close your eyes. You might hold with two hands. But just try and keep the breath slow. Good, well done. So release that leg. Nice, brilliant. All right, so do everything a nice little shake out. Good, so feet nice and wide, like we did at the beginning, hands up to the side, twizzle, so let the hands tap the body. Good, so we're going to do one more lines breath here, so anything that you kind of have been holding in or if you feel a little bit frustrated, it's a nice way to let it go. So big breath in through the nose, tip the tongue out, it's all right, slow it down, so come up to the front of the mat, and when we're here, we're going to slowly breathe in, lift the hands up. As you exhale, bend the knees, either coming halfway down, or if you can, now come all the way down into Malasana, into a little squat. Okay, so that's it. So palms together, we'll use the elbows to press the knees outwards, lengthen the spine, and then shift the weight from one foot to the other here if you can. Good, well done. All right, so hands are going to come down to the floor, forward fold, stepping back into our last plank, and then we'll lower all the way to the floor. Good. So what we're here, slowly lifting the chest up into Cobra. We're coming to a more restorative kind of sphinx here. So forearms to the ground. Okay. And just kind of shuffle the arms forward so that lower back's got loads of space. And this might be where you stay today. Or if you still have a little bit of energy left, or if you've got some energy left, we can come towards Danielas there to bow. Okay. So this shape we've been doing a bit of. So we're going to bend the knees, reach back to hold the feet or the shins if you can. Okay, first of all, here, before we go into it, lengthen your tailbone, okay? So draw the tailbone down towards the back of your mat. And then flex the feet, push into your hands, and see if you can lift the thighs off of the floor. Good. So feet reach to the ceiling. If you can, push a little bit more, lift the chest. And if you haven't eaten recently, you can maybe use the strength of your legs to rock back and forward. Have a little massage through the stomach. Hours of fun. <laughs> Good, nice. All right, so wherever you are here, release down through the legs. Hands come to the ground, rest the forehead, and give the legs a little sway from side to side. Well done. Again, use the floor for feedback. Deep breath into the stomach, press it to the ground. Deep breath out, relax the stomach. Lovely, good. All right, so we're going to stay lying on the back here. So we come round to a line on the back. Good. And similar to what you did earlier, but you might be able to come deeper now. So with the knees bent, left leg lifts into the air, cross that ankle over the other knee, and then reach forward, hold the right thigh, and draw the legs in towards you. Good. So again, it's up to you. You might have a roll from side to side. You might want to stay still now, in those words, because kind of more relaxed on the floor. If you want to make it deeper, you could use your left elbow to press the left knee away as well. Good, nice. All right, so now we're going to hold that left knee. So just grab hold of your left knee, let the other leg go. Squeeze the knee in towards your chest. Good. And then bring that knee across your body so we're in a twist. So the knee comes all the way over. And when you're in that twist, let the arms stretch out to the sides. Good. So now see how much can you actually relax your body. So can you relax all the way through your jaw, your chest, your back, your hips? Let your legs relax. Good, nice. And then from here, we're going to drop the knee out to the side of your body. So it looks like tree pose, but it's on the floor. 
and then just slide the foot away so the legs are straight. Nice, good. Sometimes that's a nice release for the pelvis. So we'll bend the knees again. And uh, this time I'm going to lift that right leg all the way up. Hope I'm getting left and right is correct. Cross the ankle over and then hold the left thigh if you can. Okay, the sense of drawing the legs in, up to you how deep or how relaxed you take this. You could use the right elbow to press the knee away. Okay, you could roll side to side. Most important thing here is to relax the breathing. Good, nice. All right, so release the legs slightly. We're gonna hug the right knee into the chest, let the other leg relax, and then bring the knee across your body so you're in your twist again. Good. I may have got left and right is wrong with this, but do what feels right for you. So arms nice and wide. Good, it's relaxing for the shoulders and the neck. Brilliant, nice. All right, so dropping the knee out to the side of your body so it looks a little bit like tree pose and then sliding the leg away. Brilliant, good. Okay, so squeeze those knees in towards your chest when you're ready. Yeah, it's supposed to be one last little bit for the hips and the spine as we're sitting. So roll yourself up to sit for one second. As we're here, just sitting with the feet, legs crossed if you can, okay? This is a really nice just to release around the hips and the lower back. So in terms of facing over that left knee, and just really simple, walk the hands away to your forward folding over the knee. Good. As you're here, let the head relax and try and let your hips be very heavy on the ground. Nice, good. Slowly walking the hands back up. Just turning to face over the other knee. Walking the hands away. And step. So you can keep, I like to keep like a little rocking side to side movement here. It just feels more like a sort of massaging movement in the muscles, but just do what feels right for you. Both hips heavy on the ground. Good. And slowly up into the center. And last time, forward fold right down through the middle. So come as far forward as you like. Relaxing through the back of the neck. Good, and slowly rolling up. Lovely, good. Okay, so you come to find your way towards Shavasana. So come to lie down on your back when you feel ready. Okay, so make sure you feel comfortable. So if you have like a cushion you want to pop under your knees or anything at all, body nice and relaxed. And we'll spend the last few moments here really focusing in on the breathing. So again, using the breath to create a relaxed state in the body. So you may first of all just have a little kind of observation, noting what can you relax, get any muscles around your face, your shoulders, stomach, chest and legs. Good. And then together, we'll take our breath. So it'll be about eight seconds in and out. So together, slow, deep breath. In. Maybe hold at the top and out.
breath in through the nose, fill everything up. And as you exhale, empty everything out. Turn back to a natural rhythm. So, like the last couple of moments here, just to allow everything to sink in into integrate. So, everything we've done today, so let it settle into your body, let it settle into your mind. And have that last little moment of peace before we move. So of course now you can stay here for as long as you like. Otherwise, if you feel ready to, just gradually starting to become a little bit more aware of the space around you. Okay, so any sounds you can hear or the air against your skin. And then in this new state, just moving into that space. So you might have a nice big stretch or moving gently through the hands and feet. Get to eventually coming to roll yourself over to one side. And we'll keep your eyes closed for a moment as you come up to sit when you feel ready. It's, so maybe allow a little moment here to acknowledge any sense of change, feeling perhaps more peaceful or more present. And if you do, just see if you can bring that with you through the rest of the day. Okay, so bring your palms together, just run your hands together, sweat your body up. It's a nice deep breath in, hands all the way above the head. Exhaling to the heart center. It's namaste. Nice 